Hey, hey, y'all. This is Sonya Jones with GFP Financials, your Mr. Miyagi of Money. And so I'm doing something a little new. So for content purposes, I've been recently getting consultations that I know it's tax time and entrepreneurs are asking, Sonya, what in the world am I doing with QuickBooks? So I said, I'm glad you asked. Child, what type of business do you have? And so I've been getting um, some feedback and I said, this would be a great idea, a great opportunity to actually do a couple of QuickBooks demos for different um, businesses. So today I want to do one specifically for service-based businesses. So GIP Financial is a service-based business. So I'm going to pinpoint a couple of key features that I know every service-based business is probably going to use QuickBooks for. So I want to highlight three, maybe four particular features. So first things first is well, let's talk about invoicing. Number one, right? And I'll be honest, a lot of my clients do not use um, the accounts payable to bill pay because in most situations, you can pay those bills directly with the vendor, you know, with the online payment, with a credit card or so forth. But when it comes to bringing money into your business, invoicing is going to be number one, right? So I'm going to give it to you in two ways. First thing is the estimate. Because when you're, if you're kind of like the way I do my business model, we have consultations or discovery calls. And then from there, uh, we offer the solution to whatever the problem is. And then we create the estimate. So first things first, you'll go here to new and you'll click on estimate. And also a cool bonus with QuickBooks is that you can actually do a lot of these uh, test functions in the sample company, which is create landscape. And so that's why I'm using bro create. This is not a real account. <laughs> so if you have a prospective client that you want to pull services for, you put that customer or add the new customer here. And then just for the sake of the quote, you can put their company name, ABC company. And if you notice, you'll also put it in the display name and as well as the name to print on the checks. But you definitely want to put ABC at GFQ.com. Child, you're making up stuff today. And then you're going to click Save. And then whatever your product or service is, you'll put that there. And as you notice, in QuickBooks, which you can also do as a service-based business, you can itemize each product and each service and not only assign a price to it, but also assign an income account to it as well. Super detailed. So for this site, we're going to add design, $75. Now, the cool thing that you can also do if you have engagement letters or contracts, you can use DocuSign. That's one of the apps that's integratable with QuickBooks. So in this case, once you click on save and send, you'll have an actual option if you use DocuSign to put save and um, use with DocuSign or save and something with DocuSign. And once you click on that, it'll open up DocuSign. You can complete your engagement letter if you've uploaded a template. And what it will do, it will not only send the letter, but also send the estimate to the prospective client in one email. So once that uh, prospective client signs the estimate and signs the letter, guess what? You get that confirmation and then you can translate, when well I translate, but uh, convert that estimate into the invoice. So we're gonna hit save and close here. And once the estimate is saved, and say, for example, you've already sealed the deal, you got the sale. So what we're going to do next, you're going to go to sales. You're going to go to all sales. And as you see, here's the estimate with ABC Company. QuickBooks is always going to try to give you a little intro introduction. Hey, how you doing, guys? We got to do stuff. So just FYI. And so for here... Once the estimate has been accepted, you just mark accepted. You can put by, accepted by you, put the date, and hit OK. And then notice you see here, now it's asking you to convert it to an invoice. 
that you can click that and now it converts it to an invoice uh no we don't want to leave without saving so once you do that you save and send it as an invoice to the customer they'll get the email to pay you and then you can render the service it's as simple as that okay so that's the first thing and we're going to go back to the apps in just a minute so i just wanted to show you that feature um the next thing that i wanted to show you guys also with the invoice is that you can customize those invoices as well when you create your invoice and so upon all of your custom fields here you can also in the settings in the general settings you can um, add your logo, all of that cool stuff. So I'm just kind of showing you the spots where you can customize your invoice. You can make a recurring invoice here. So if you have a client with a monthly commitment or a yearly commitment, you can not only set up that recurring invoice here and make a template, but you have the invoice to be sent automatically via email. How cool is that? So QuickBooks is very, very robust, right? And let's see, I want to put one more. Let's yeah, go. Wi-Fi is a little slow today. Come on, custom forms. Yeah. Right. So with the new style, you can do the new style invoice. And this is where you create all of your wonderful uh customizations with your invoice and Jewish things up. Right. So I want to show you that. Even what I say. All right. And so last but certainly not least, let's look at the apps. So you go to apps, go to find apps. And in this video, in the description, I'm gonna make sure that I also include the website to where you can look at all of the apps that integrate with QuickBooks. Intuit has a dedicated website for that. It's amazing. So in this case, the client, the prospective client asked me about scheduling. Right, because they want to do everything in one uh, fail swoop. They want to be able to have their clients schedule, do estimates, uh, prepare contracts, and pay invoices. I said, bet QuickBooks can do that. So you can just search for scheduling. And as soon as I type stuff in, they've got plenty of things. So I, if I were you, I would read each one of the different apps to see which one fits for you. So in this case, uh, since we're talking about client bookings, I will look at Acuity. And with all of the apps, it's going to come with an introductory video. Um, I'm pretty sure the video is unavailable only because of the Wi-Fi where I am. <laughs> and so you can look at the writings. You can look at the pricing. And then some of the pricing is discounted because you're integrating with QuickBooks. Again, you can look at the reviews. And then also similar apps in the same category, right? And then also the FAQs. So you got everything right here at your disposal. So I hope that this quick, quick, quick summary helps you out a whole lot. And again, if you would like to book a Discovery College GIP Financials, that link will also be in the description as well. So take care of you guys. And as always, get in position. Let's go.